In this video, you're going to learn how to boost your metabolism and burn more fat. The metabolism is the chemical process your body uses to break down and transform the food you eat into fuel. Protein, fat, water, vitamins, minerals, and carbs are the nutrients the body uses for energy. Before we move on, I do want to make it clear that in order to burn fat, you must be in a calorie deficit. It does not matter whether you're paleo, vegan, or pegan, energy has to be either used or stored once it's consumed, and if you're getting in too much energy, it will get stored. That being said, the amount of energy you actually burn with your personal metabolism is largely dependent on four important factors that we have varying amounts of control over. Factor number one, your personal BMR or basal metabolic rate. Your personal basal metabolic rate is the amount of calories you burn just living your normal life. This number is largely dependent on factors not in your control such as your age, sex, height, and genetic makeup. However, there is one modest way you can control it and that's by improving the muscle to fat ratio on your body. The more muscle and less fat you have, the more calories you will burn just chilling, so to speak. So how does one acquire this lean and sexy muscle tissue? By lifting heavy things. Doing resistance training is quite helpful for body composition and thus benefits one's metabolism. Also doing high intensity circuit training is effective as well. This form of training will help you build muscle while increasing your metabolic rate even after your workouts are finished. The choice is personal preference, but if you're truly trying to maximize fat burning, then high intensity circuit training is best. Factor number two, the hormone insulin. The whole process of proper digestion is almost entirely dependent on the proper release and absorption of insulin. Since insulin secretion is largely dependent on carbohydrate intake, this is why I've told you on our weight loss videos to get your carbs to the right levels. Too many carbohydrates, particularly the wrong ones over time, lead to insulin resistance and medical conditions like type 2 diabetes. The goal is for your body to be insulin sensitive. This means that your insulin is functioning properly and responding appropriately appropriately to the carbohydrates and other food consumed. Some important steps to take in order to get more insulin sensitive are number one, eliminating fast acting carbohydrates like refined grains, flour, and sugar from the diet and managing overall intake of carbohydrates. Number two, getting proper sleep. The body becomes more insulin sensitive when we get seven to nine hours of sleep so it too affects your metabolism. Number three, consider using intermittent fasting. It has been shown to both increase insulin sensitivity and raise resting metabolic rate by 3 to 14 percent during a fast. We have an entire video for beginners that can be seen here. Factor number three, digestive enzymes and gut bacteria. Once food is consumed, it has to be processed for the uptake of those nutrients. A big part of this process is breaking down those nutrients with enzymes and bacteria. The crazy thing is there is actually just as much bacteria as there are cells in the body. We're talking 10 to 20 trillion different microbes. The problem here is that many people have ruined their health healthy gut bacteria and digestive enzymes by eating too many processed foods, consuming too much sugar, and even doing necessary antibiotic rounds that kill healthy gut bacteria. The more of the incorrect bacteria in the gut, the harder it is for the body to process the healthy foods we eat. However, the more of the good gut bacteria we have, the better our food is processed and thus the metabolism is improved. The best ways to fix this are eating healthy bacteria friendly foods like broccoli, sweet potatoes, blueberries, bananas, fermented foods like sauerkraut and tempeh and drinking apple cider vinegar. You can also take a probiotic and or digestive enzymes to help your gut out. Factor number four, the natural thermogenesis of certain foods. Some foods have a naturally greater thermogenic effect on the body, meaning the body uses more calories or energy to burn those foods. Caffeine has been shown to boost the metabolism by 3 to 11 percent and promote fat burning. Some of the best sources of caffeine are black coffee and green tea because of the additional nutrients nutrients they provide. High protein foods like lean meats or fish have been shown to have the greatest effect on thermogenesis resulting in a 15 to 30 percent increase in metabolic burn. If you're one of my many vegan or vegetarian friends, the substitute would be a high quality vegan protein shake as it will have a large concentration of protein. Things like lentils, beans, and quinoa are great foods but just don't have the same concentration of protein as the above and won't have the same metabolic effects. Drinking ice cold water also has a slightly thermogenic effect, increasing metabolism by 10 to 30% to 
for an hour. Certain peppers like chilies and mustard have been shown to moderately increase metabolism and fat burning in various studies. Finally, consuming lots of dark and vibrant leafy green vegetables will help because they contain virtually no calories and the body still needs to heat up to process them, making them a quote and off quote zero calorie food. If you really want more tips on boosting your metabolism and or losing fat, please visit fatlossnerds.com. Just type it into your browser or click on the screen now. On that page is how to access our free training on the 10 steps to fast weight loss backed by science. In summary, the four factors of metabolism are your BMR, insulin, a healthy gut, and certain thermogenic foods. Focus on these for a faster metabolism and better fat burning. Got a topic you want the health nerd to cover? Just put in the comments section below. And rumor has it, for every new subscriber we get, a baby slow loris is born. So please subscribe to the health nerd for healthy tips and tricks backed by science. Cheers.